गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वी आर डूइंग एनवायरमेंटल एप्लीकेशन स्टैंडर्ड टेंथ द फर्स्ट चैप्टर इज केयरिंग फॉर बेसिक रिसोर्सेज इन दैट वी आर डूइंग केयरिंग फॉर आर सॉइल केयरिंग फॉर वाटर एंड केयरिंग फॉर एयर वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद केयरिंग फॉर आर सॉइल नाउ अंडर दिस वी आर डूइंग द कॉजेज एंड कॉन्सिक्वेंसेज ऑफ सॉइल इरोजन there are many causes natural and man made but the most important ones which are in the syllabus are first one is improper land use today because of overpopulation lot of land is being used for settlements constructions roads and railways building up some projects so agricultural land is being used for the other purposes where uh, wherein it causes soil erosion the second is deforestation or felling of trees deforestation is caused because of land is used for the same purposes like building of construction sites or roads railways Uh, more and more land is used for settlements illegal mining and all these activities you re require to cut down the trees and this is the main cause of uh, soil erosion the third cause is overgrazing as the livestock has increased today the overgrazing is taking uh, place uh, when uh, livestock is overgrazing for a long time the soil becomes compact and the it loses its water holding capacity at the same time what happens is because of overgrazing sometimes they are eating up the roots also there is no way they are the trees will regenerate so in a long run this re leads to uh, water holding capacity is lost there is no water air in the soil and in a long run it uh, leads to desertification and Uh, this is another cause of soil erosion now there are other causes like uh, natural calamities like tsunami earthquake floods etc there are also man made activities or anthropogenic activities like um, illegal mining uh, nuclear disasters etc but we are doing this three uh, in our syllabus now the these are the causes now we are doing the consequences the consequences are the first one is uh the effect or the impact of soil erosion on the soil so the first is on food production due to soil erosion what happens is the soil the topmost soil which is fertile is lost is carried away so there is uh, the farmers have to use uh, more fertilizers for the plants now when fertilizers are used in long run what happens is uh, the crops will grow for a little amount of time but in a long run it will become like a uh, unfertile or you cannot grow crops after a long time uh, this fertilizers um, food production becomes less because the farmers has to use more money on the fertilizers so uh, this is the effect on food production the second is um, on uh, generation of wasteland when more and more uh, fertilizers are used what happens is along with water irrigation the soil a uh, layer is formed a crusty salt layer is formed on the soil so after many uh, uh, seasons of growing crops there won't be a plant growing because the salt uh, uh, crusty layer will not allow the plants to grow well so this is like a wasteland so even if you put lot of fertilizers and uh, uh, water but uh, the in a long run this land turns into a wasteland when you use more fertilizers and pesticide also it becomes a wasteland because in a long, uh, after many uh, seasons uh, it has a very bad effect on the soil your soil is exhausted the third one is siltation
फिल्टेशन ऑफ वाटर वेज एंड डैम्स रिजॉयर्स लाइक डैम्स वॉट हैपन्स इज वेन देर इज रेन्स और इरीगेटेड वाटर गोज डाउन द ड्रेन इट कैरीज अवे विथ इट ऑल द सॉइल और सम सेंट पार्टिकल्स पेबल्स अलॉन्ग विथ इट वेन इट कम्स टू द रिवर्स और द डैम्स और द रिजर्वर्स वॉट हैपन इज इट कॉजेज सिल्टेशन एंड द वॉटर होल्डिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ द वॉटर बॉडी इज रिड्यूस्ड सो एज दिस हैपन्स दर इज नो नेविगेशन कैनॉट टेक प्लेस एज इजीली एज अर लियर एंड ऑल्सो इट कैनॉट बी यूज फॉर रिक्रिएशनल पर्पसेज और इट कैनॉट बी यूज फॉर वॉटर ड्रिंकिंग पर्पसेज एक्सेट्रा बिकॉज वॉट हैपन्स इज इफ दिस इज द बैंक ऑफ द रिवर्स एंड दिस इज द फ्लोइंग वॉटर the silt comes here and the water holding capacity of the water because this is silt this silt increases so this is the water when water is here this much this is filled with silt again here silt so this water holding capacity is reduced so uh, this uh, also causes trouble to the aquatic ecosystems or it disturbs the spawning grounds of the fish or the nesting grounds of the aquatic um, uh, animals now we are coming uh, the b part is what we can do to stop this soil erosion so we have some plans or soil conservation strategies soil conservation strategies are ways to reduce soil erosion so in this we have three of them first one is contour bunding the second one is check dams and the third one is tree break contour bunding what is done in contour bunding this is mostly on the hill slopes or slopey areas or steep surfaces what is done when there is a rain or irrigation the water just gushes down without being percolating in areas where it is required so this uh, the water would have just run down on all the sides so to control soil erosion and also water erosion this controls both water erosion also so bunds are built round it goes then bunds are built round like this so on the contour lines bunds are built so with mud or any material available now the plants which are grown here the plants which are grown here will use the water which comes here and the extra water will flow here to the next level the extra water from here will flow here the extra water here will flow here so this bunds what they will do is they will uh, reduce soil erosion and at the same time reduce water erosion the percolation will take place in every layer recharging the ground water so there is a lot of water saved and at the same time there is no um, Uh, wastage of water and wastage of soil so the soil will also remain fertile so this is one method of um, soil conservation uh, plan contour bunding now there are advantages and disadvantages for this uh, what is done here locally available material is used to uh, uh, form this bunds so every time uh, they have to be taken care of some may, uh, when there is heavy rain some might uh, part might just go up along with the water so you require people to monitor it all the time at the same time uh, it is uh, used at the local level so anyone can uh, be employed for this work you do not require skilled uh, labor etc now in check dams the second one is check dams a check dam is a just a earthen bund or um, it is not a real dam it's just a, when this is a river it's done in the flowing uh, shallow rivers it cannot be used in deep uh, waters just a barrier barrier is put here barrier 
like sluice gates so whenever it can be temporary or it can be permanent sometimes it can be removed if it is not required so this wash uh, velocity of the water is reduced so it will flow slowly slowly and here water is kept back for irrigation so in a in other way it also reduces soil erosion it also uh, 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 keeps water which can be used for either domestic purposes irrigation fishing etc now this material what is used here is sometimes locally uh, uh, available in the village it just decreases the velocity of the water thus controlling soil erosion and also water erosion so from the banks all the time the water is uh, taking away the soil this is reduced whenever it is not required this can be removed what is used here is uh, either wood logs or sometimes cement bags some wired mesh uh, sometimes it is just uh, some uh, uh, sand or pebbles anything can be used here so that the water is just kept back like the sluice gate when sluice gate are open the water can go back uh, flow to the other direction this cannot be used in the steep waters deep waters only rivers which are shallow water this can be used and again like the contour bunding this jack dams have to be periodically maintained because a part of it can also go along with the uh, heavy rainfall the third is tree breaks tree breaks can also stop soil erosion and water erosion what is done is if this is a field the come in coming wind at that perpendicular to it the trees long trees are grown here so that the crops are protected the crops are here the crops are here they are protected by this uh, trees sometimes here also they are grown, grown the trees are protecting the crops from the winds and uh, so that the soil is not carried away the fertile soil is not carried away by the wind or sometimes during the rains also and they are also called shelter belts or they are also called wind breaks the trees which are grown here should be not nutrient uh, Uh, should not require more nutrients than the so, uh, crops or they should not require more water than the crops otherwise they will be and they should not be vast spreading otherwise they will uh, require more sunlight than the crops and there will be competition for their survival uh, the crops will not grow well so here uh, the crops which are grown here may be neem or in eucalyptus or sometimes sesame so that they don't compete with the crops for their nutrient or water requirements so um, th so these are the three ways how soil um, erosion can be controlled or taken care of at the right time